carrying with it up the right wing side is Maxwell. Drop pass, top of the first circle, a wrist shot, save made, rebound is under using that stretch pass. Up ahead, Schmitz, left wing side, he gets that to the slot. Puck was in the feet, came out to Crane, there's a shot, rebound there! And Ricci just wide of the nets. He, Maxwell down to the goal line again. Here's Barron behind his back. Another feed into the slot. Far circle, a shot and a save the glove. Thereby, deep slot across to Molino, looking across the crease area, trying to move that over. Wegworth shot a goal, save made there, and diving down out of the ice was Mitch Gillum, but somehow the puck was put in and they score. Yeah, Lewis just found a loose puck. I think Gillum did a really nice job to at least search for that puck. He thought it was underneath him. Lays down on top of it and it squirts out his right side and uh, Lewis buries that one right over the top of him to the empty net. Well, before they scored, I was going to say that I was really proud of Wichita for winning a faceoff and clearing it. This is dumped in from the red line and played right on to Gillum. Gillum with a turnover. Here they come. A chance and they score. Molino intercepting a pass from Mitch Gillum and he lifts it into the right upper corner past Mitch Gillum and that is uh, one of those goals that you cannot give up early in the game. Now you've got to you got to find someone there if you're Mitch Gillum. Uh, it's one of those hard situations that we've seen a lot of the season where Wichita looks for something and they have no. Up to center ice for DeHarnay. Stretch pass to the right side. He big delays. Gets to his backhand. Goes to his forehand. Tried to go upper glove. Best off. DeHarnay. Wesloski fires the net. Save made. Rebound to Fournier, and he scores. That's a keynote Stefan Fournier goal. Sits himself in front of the net, makes it hard for Yolette to see, and as soon as a rebound comes out in front of him, he buries it. A textbook Fournier goal there. And a big goal for Wichita to get some confidence. And Fournier's now got four goals in his last three games. Coach mentioned it to Har Harding and I last night. He was trying a, a different look on the power play to really split, spread the players out. Fabrizio looking for Wesloski. Comes to the front, passes that to Sterrett. Puck is loose. Bo trying to get his stick free. And somehow on one, back the other way. Parking and defending. Here's Magali in. Magali with a shot and a save made there by... Get it up to the blue line. They work it across to the other side of the zone. Safin wanting to get to the near circle. Fires a shot and a one-timer. And he lost the puck. Back the other way they come. Here's... Wegworth behind the back pass, he gets it over, and a shot on goal there. By Point back down the left wing side. Well, to the blue line for Tim McGully. Fires a shot, same made, rebound in the slot. First circle, they fire, and Molino scores. And makes it 3-1 to one Utah with the second power play goal of the night. I mean, that's a nice play by Utah. They are able to put pucks on net, and they've got two or three guys sitting right there ready for rebound attempts. And eventually, it's Molina who finds an empty, almost empty half of the net. He wants to come out in front, still with it. Plays a board pass up top. Safin on net, and it was stolen. Here's Wesloski with a backhand, and that just missed. Thunder with the draw. Safin quickly, a shot on goal. And